Okay, you guys, I still have me a sleeping cat over there. Wishing I'd be a little bit more quiet. But yeah, so here is my big drawer. Um, there was some old fruit, which I went ahead and threw away. <coughs> Not a bunch, but I, I guess, I don't know. Things that shouldn't be in this drawer in this drawer, but I have it's just been jam-packed and um, things get lost. Okay. Okay, so here's another cheese. And this one is July 5th. So that's gotta go sort of to the top. Um, so let me tell you guys, I've been obsessed with this Waterloo. I've been, you know, trying to replace Sprite and I've done an insanely good job of it. Occasionally I have it, but I really don't have it every day. It's definitely a treat. So this one's a grapefruit, but I've been trying all the different brands. This one's good, but I love the blueberry grape, watermelon, lemonade, and they have a new one out this summer called Summer Berry. I got it at, when I was at Whole Foods. And I, obviously it's gonna be seasonal. So I need to run in there and try to get some because it's the best, like but hands down, absolutely my favorite. So I'm gonna try to go in and buy a few. I don't know how long, when they expire, I'll have to check that. But um, yeah, I'll be very sad when that goes away. And I'm tricky about going into Whole Foods because then I'm like, oh, get some of that tuna. Oh, get it, get some of that cake. So um, they have to be strong. Maybe I'll just go in with like 30 bucks to buy my drinks. In my tuna, in my cake. All right, anyway. Uh, so these are some of the new things I tried and forgot about, or I bought because they were new. Pillsbury Brownie Dough Chocolate Fudge. So I'm not sure, I guess you, it's coming up where I should use it. It's not open. So you put them in cups, baking cups. Place paper baking cups in 12 regular size, or you can just do it in the, the um, muffin thing. I don't like to do the cup thing. I mean the paper. Let me just put them in there and bake them. Interesting. Now this is dripping. That one's in my refrigerator. Um, let's get my handy dandy. Get this cleaned up. But yeah, so I'll probably do this, this soon. I mean, this could be a bake, making treats with Tracy, right? Just a different kind. Um, see what you think. Or you can make it Pan brownies, um, I guess they're round, so you just place it in. Okay. There you go. I'll let you know. It was probably under $4, but hey. What's nice, too, is that it's not as dripping. Yuck. Oh, I know. The salsa drips. Where's the salsa? I must have put it in the sink. Anyway, um, yeah. <clears throat> and if you want to make one or two and you seal them up super good. I mean, that's a great thing, especially if you have kids or you just want one thing. Okay. Uh, okay. More butter in the wrong spot. And my, uh, this is, now this is Costco. So this is old. My friend, when we used to do cookies, we get the Kirkland brand. So this is 2020. What you don't want to do is, I guess, you know, you know, baking can be expensive and you don't want to then put bad butter that's going to make it taste yucky, right? And I'm sure I have some in the freezer. Anyway, so that's a good thing. This is in the wrong thing. Okay. Um, usually keep my yogurts in here. So this was, I tried this. This is that Nuno's. Um, it's good. It was vanilla. Very good. And of course, I got to clean out the glass jar. Oscar liked the vanilla yogurt the best. I'd give him a little dollop on his plate. So that makes me sad. Um, egg whites. Used by March 2021. I think my friend does this. She adds egg white to one egg and then spinach and I thought I'd do that and I didn't. Or I was gonna make a cake that needed white. Anyway, wasteful. Some of my Parmesan cheese that says on here, um, July-ish. I have it one of my old, love Parmesan. I haven't been eating as much pasta or spaghetti, but anyway, put that in the correct area. Let's see, I have Missoni corn tortillas. They, I was gonna cook them like my dad used to in the, um, like in oil. 
let's see, May of this year. Um, they're not open, so I'll Google that and see. The Missoni Roast Chicken Tacos. Maybe I could do another cooking series based on recipes on things. <laughs> so I need many things going at one time. But I'm very proud of my cooking series. I just did episode three. So that's good. Um, I gave myself a week off. You know, I haven't been filming as much because of Oscar. I get sad. I'm just it's sad. I miss him. You know, you don't realize. I mean, I did. I don't ever take him for granted. But, you know, he was with me a lot more. And Clara tries. And she's definitely a lot more affectionate than she was before Oscar died. But, um, and she sits near me. She's always around me. But Oscar literally would sit on me. Well, one thing, he was waiting for me to get up, try to go get some food. But I have to go pick up his ashes. So I need to do that this week. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I had on his thing in gray, Sir Oscar. Because I usually I would call him that when, you know, he's bugging me. I'm like, Sir Oscar, would you like to be fed now? And he told the cat communicator that he liked that. <laughs> so. All right. Candy bar. I love, I go through phases with these things. And, but I can't, you know, it's funny how like some things that I buy and I have to eat immediately, like obsessively and other things I get and they're there and I forget them or I can have them. Um, my hands are sticky now. Something, something is sticky. But yeah. So soft and juicy mandarin. So this is total Trader Joe's. I don't know. Does this ton of dried fruit go bad? Says 2020. I'm not, I get influenced. Yes, I do. Probably Katie Husby. Um, but I'm not a big dried fruit eater. So they're good, but they're old. So I'm not gonna keep them. Um, yeah, I mean, she loves those things. My kid loves them. But I just tend not to eat dried fruit like that. I mean, it feels like it's like a candy bar. Why not eat a candy bar and eat fruit, eat real fruit. These are orange flavored dried cranberries. I was putting on my salads. But I don't know. January 14th. Those are open. Okay. Let's see. My friend's been giving me these. I think her husband gets them from Costco. Yeah, Kirkland. Organic chunky guacamole. So how perfect is that for a little snack? My, I ran out of my favorite chips. I've got to get some this week. But, you know on a sandwich or eggs. So those are a keeper. I'm down to three. Um, again, loving the Trader Joe's pizza sauce. But you know, these things just don't, unless I'm gonna make pizza that week. I like to dip, I, you know, I was having those fried raviolis and I was dipping them in this. It's just really good. It's a very good sauce and it's not that expensive. Do you think this can freeze in plastic? What do you all think? I'd like to have it on hand, but now it's gonna expire the end of this month. Now it's not open, right, is it? No. So, you know, I don't know. I just, again, I have to rethink these things. If I'm not gonna use it, it's a waste, right? And I love it. So I don't know. What am I gonna do about all that to think it through? Like this week, okay, I have that. I have a pizza crust. I have the cheese, I have pepperoni, I have mushrooms. I can make my own pizza one night. So I'm gonna do some meal planning. I am. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna bring you along, do a vlog and talk about it and do some meal planning. And I would love comments and suggestions of what you guys do. Again, I'm only one person. I mean, the people I used to share at work aren't there. You know, people are just different now. Um, they're not like foodies. So yeah, I don't have to rethink everything because I don't wanna waste food. I don't wanna waste the money. I'm trying to pay off my bubba. Okay, let's come to desserts. I'm gonna do these first, which I'm gonna do a taste test later. I'm doing a, one of my, I got a giant haul to do, and I just forgot them because they were in a messy refrigerator. So these are called Brown Cow Pot de Creme Chocolate. Um, I guess 
uh, Brown Cow must just be the brand. It's from New Hampshire. Doesn't have a lot of bad stuff in it. One of these is 250 calories, a lot. So anyway, I'll try one of those today. And this is the other new thing um, that I'm gonna try today. Or maybe I'll try this one because I know I'm gonna like the other one. This is wheat, like the yogurt, layer dessert, caramel cheesecake with graham cracker crust. So again, in these cute little jars. So I'll try one of those today and try the pudding later because I know I'm gonna love the pudding. And these I did a taste test on y'all, vanilla banana pudding, I have two left. So for a while I was eating pudding at night, so I'm trying to not eat food food and then early have like a pudding for dessert if I haven't eaten a bunch of crap during the day. So like 140 calories, but really I could take these to work and have them my afternoon snack, I don't know. Yeah, it just goes always on what I feel like. Okay, now here's all my puddings I've been trying. My favorite, the Hershey's Collider's so you get a pudding and then you get the Hershey's Crunch to put in. The pudding's awesome. I like the crunch of that. They, you know, they go on sale, you get two. I think these were $2.50, they're $1.25. Now this is a different one. Um, these are colliders, but they're called layered, right? And Rolo, doesn't taste a thing like a Rolo, but it's pudding. Um, yeah, I got these early, I think. Then, we have, hmm, I guess I had a s'mores one. I must have shared that with someone. All right, so they have, I wanted to do this on my Instagram. So these are the colliders, uh, so Hershey s'mores. Then we have the um, mint flavored dessert with chocolate, dark chocolate pieces, right? We have the, Hershey's Cookies and Cream Collider Twisted Vanilla Flavored Dessert with Chocolate Cookie Crumbles. And Kit Kat Collider. So you got your vanilla pudding. The vanilla pudding is very, very good. And then this one, the Heath Collider's Twisted. It's the ones I like are the Twisted. So Heath and Vanilla. So yeah, chocolate being my favorite, but they're all really good. So um, yeah, I need to take a picture, put them on my Instagram. Let's see, but that had all this stuff like shoved in there and what a mess. Okay, so that is my bottom drawer. Now I've got things tucked that will end up in the bottom drawer, but now I have got to go clean. That drawer's got sticky crap in it, which I hate. Um, I always put paper towels down or like a dish rag a drying towel or something, especially the ones from like Trader Joe's, uh, Trader Joe's um, Dollar Tree, because they're not super absorbent, so it kind of stays on it, and they're a buck. Okay, so I will see you on the other side with things that are shoved on different shelves. <laughs>